Toyota CEO revealed an all-new Land Cruiser, and it is simply shocking everyone. Why? Well, this is just amazing. And now that we know more about it than the first announcement, we can safely say that it will be the answer we were looking for, with amazing off-road prowess and a design that makes sense. But there is more to it than just that. Let me explain. Performance under the hood, you've got a beastly 2.8-liter four-cylinder diesel engine pumping out a jaw-dropping 201 horsepower and a whopping 369 pound-feet of torque. And that is not all. There is a jaw-dropping single hybrid engine setup that's the talk of the town, with a turbocharged 2.4-liter four-cylinder engine paired with an eight-speed automatic transmission. They call it the iForce Max hybrid powertrain, and boy does it pack a punch. It delivers a whopping 326 horsepower and a staggering 458 pound-feet of torque, so whether you're hitting the trails or cruising through the city streets, the Land Cruiser is geared up and ready to roll. But there's more. This beast boasts a mind-blowing 6,000 pound towing capacity. Sharing its chassis with most of the current Toyota's platform, this bad boy boasts enhanced rigidity compared to its predecessors. But hey, don't expect this ride to pamper you with luxury. It's all about that rugged durability and practicality. Now onto the juicy bits. That fuel tank? A whopping 80 liters, folks. That's like having a small reservoir under your hood. With an estimated 30 miles per gallon, you're looking at a range of about 500 miles on a single tank. Talk about freedom to roam. This ride is an absolute beast off-road, ready to tackle any terrain you throw at it. Whether it's dirt, sand, mud, or deep snow, it's got you covered. And let me tell you, it's not just another SUV. It's a powerhouse with permanent four-wheel drive that lets you lock those center and rear differentials for some serious traction boost. Plus, there's this nifty stabilizer disconnect mechanism that kicks in, making sure your handling is as smooth as butter. Oh, but it doesn't stop there. The suspension on this bad boy? It's like riding on a cloud, but with the added bonus of keeping you in the loop about what each wheel is up to. And the steering? It's so responsive, you won't feel a hint of kickback. It's like it reads your mind. Drawing inspiration from its iconic lineage, the Land Cruiser rocks some serious articulation and tough-as-nails design. With its separate body and chassis setup, this machine is built to dominate off-road terrain like a champ. Up front, you've got those trusty double wishbones, while in the rear, it's all about the rugged beam axle. And whether you're tackling rough trails or weaving through city streets, the 2024 Land Cruiser is your go-to ride for adrenaline-pumping adventures. And we are not even done yet. Let's talk about control. You can switch up the gearbox to manual mode and take command of those sleek paddles. And when you're tackling those steep slopes, just hit the DAC button and let downhill assist control do its thing. Talk about a smooth descent. But hey, if you're feeling lazy, the automatic mode does the trick just fine. This thing is just the best. That's the only thing you can say. I mean, it's not perfect, and every car comes with its own set of compromises. It's all about figuring out what matters most to you and making your choice accordingly. We just sit here to show you the facts, so watch carefully drawbacks. Now, don't get me wrong, this beast is built for conquering those rocky terrains, but when it hits the pavement, there are a few things to consider. The weight distribution and the stiff chassis play a role in how it feels on the road. You might notice a bit of shake and some engine noise, but fear not, Toyota's got you back with sound-deadening measures that have dialed down the racket. However, let's be real here, it might feel a tad sluggish when you're cruising down the streets. But let's talk about what really matters – its off-road prowess. The Land Cruiser's mechanical prowess shines through, providing an immersive driving experience that keeps you connected to the terrain. Unlike other cars like the Defender, which can feel a bit too automated, the Land Cruiser keeps you in the driver's seat, fully engaged and aware of its capabilities. But there's more. The Land Cruiser has upgraded its game with an 8-speed automatic transmission, boasting early torque converter lockup. Translation? It's all about consistent performance, folks. Okay, so it might not be winning any drag races, but who needs speed when you've got manual control for a ride that's as reliable and steady as they come? And let's not forget its towing capabilities. Heavy loads are not a problem with this thing. That is what I like about this car. It's functional. 
Instead of just focusing on the bells and whistles, they made a reliable card that is actually really useful. But let's talk about that in more detail. Practicality Take a seat in the Land Cruiser and you feel like you're on top of the world, quite literally, thanks to its elevated seating position and a bonnet that stretches out for miles. Offering a commanding view and an interior spacious enough to make you feel like you're cruising in your own personal kingdom. And when it comes to legroom, it's not exactly spacious, but hey, it gets the job done. Now, if you're stuck in the middle seat, you might feel a tad cramped with the limited space. The folding down seats 6 and 7 gives some extra wiggle room. And let's talk controls. They've got that solid feel you'd expect, and whether you're navigating through city streets or tearing up the trails, those large mirrors and unobstructed views will have you feeling like the king of the road. Now, here's the kicker. While it may rely on a touchscreen, don't be fooled because there's a plethora of switches at your fingertips for all your operation needs. Plus, it's got a mode select for drive modes, including a sport mode, which might seem like overkill for a Land Cruiser, but hey, who's complaining when you've got that extra power and swagger under your hood? This thing laughs in the face of Mother Nature. Its ruggedness and prowess in challenging terrains make it the go-to choice for off-road enthusiasts everywhere. And sure, the Land Cruiser might seem straightforward, but that's part of the charm. It's honest, functional, and really good at what it does. Comparing it to its counterpart is like comparing a lion to a house cat. The Land Cruiser reigns supreme. The big question on everyone's mind is, will this new model keep the soul of its predecessor alive and kicking? Simply put, yes, it does. But there is more to the story than just that. Let me explain and take a trip down memory lane. The classic 40 series Land Cruiser from the 60s was all about that rugged toughness, tailor-made for tearing through desert landscapes. Sure, it wasn't the comfiest or the fanciest ride, but man, did it have that mechanical grit that newer models strive for. But the new models also have a few fancy things. We're talking knee pads on both sides of the cabin, which will soften the blow when you're off-roading like a pro. And let's not forget about the high-tech stuff. A slick set of buttons for all your off-road needs, featuring the SDM stabilizer Disconnect Gizmo. This baby is a rarity, disconnecting the front anti-roll bar to give you an extra 10% wheel travel. Translation? Your off-road adventures just got a whole lot smoother. And can we talk about the design? It's all about being user-friendly. They've made sure everything is modular, so if something needs fixing, it's a breeze. Inside, they've taken care of those pesky rattles by keeping components well separated. Climbing up a steep incline, smoothly transitioning to neutral and shifting down to low range, engaging the rear differential lock and disabling the anti-roll bar for maximum traction. Plus, you can't help but notice the front end's newfound flexibility, granting a whopping 10% increase in wheel and axle travel. Unlike some of its counterparts that rely on height-adjustable suspension, the Land Cruiser effortlessly conquers rugged landscapes without breaking a sweat. So maneuvering through uneven and slick landscapes, including treacherous mud pits, is a breeze thanks to its impressive wading depth. It's like having a trusty companion that's always got your back, impressing with its refined sophistication and smooth handling. But how does all this stack up against the competition? Price and Competition in the fierce world of rugged SUVs, we've got the heavyweights and their rivals, the Defender, the Mercedes G-Class, and the Ineos Grenadier. But hold on to your seats because there's a twist in the tale. The Defender, once the king of the wild, has taken a sharp turn toward the city streets, leaving its wilderness roots behind. That move got folks wondering about its future. The Mercedes G-Class is a bit different, it's a beast in its own right with engineering that'll make your jaw drop, but let's face it, it's mostly seen gliding through city streets, a status symbol for the urban elite. That hefty price tag doesn't exactly scream off-road adventure. And then there's the Ineos Grenadier, gunning for durability but facing some uphill battles. Its price point and performance, while not being shabby, struggle to match up against the big boys in the game. This is the market where the new Land Cruiser comes in, standing tall and proud. It's the best in terms of toughness, staying true to its roots when others have strayed. And get this, it's kicking things off with a starting price that won't break the bank, around $50,000. But the first editions are loaded with features you didn't even know you needed and priced at $65,000. If you ask me, the Land Cruiser is doing what it does best, 
staying true to its legacy of rugged reliability. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.